Let's talk about what happens when you're adding or subtracting two different rational expressions where the denominators are actually opposites of each other. So granted, the denominators are not exactly the same, so it's not quite as easy as just adding or subtracting the numerator, but it's not quite as bad as if the denominators were completely different. So like in this example, we have 3x over 8 minus x minus 2 divided by x minus 8. And as you probably know, 8 minus x and x minus 8 are opposites of each other. Now, what does this mean in a practical sense? Well, if, if we filled in any numerical value for x, then 8 minus x and x minus 8 will be the same numerical value just with opposite sign, like 2 or negative 2 or 3 or negative 3, etc. So what we can do is we can actually write one of these guys as negative of the other guy. So like 8 minus x would be the same as negative quantity x minus 8. In other words, what you're doing is you're factoring out a negative out of these two terms, and then what happens is the, the order reverses. So, so the, these two would actually be the same. So what we can do is for this first term right here, we can write this as a fraction with the denominator of 8 minus, I'm sorry, x minus 8 as opposed to 8 minus x, and take this negative and move it either out in front of the rational expression or even move it up to the numerator, which is what I think I'll do. So we'll, so we'll say that this is the same as negative 3x over x minus 8. And in fact, these are, these are the same. All right, minus 2 over x minus 8. All right, these two guys have the same denominator now. So the arithmetic is simply going to happen in the numerator is all. And so our final answer would be negative 3x minus 2 divided by x minus 8.